Thank you to the Royal Sussex YouTube channel and the Ellen Show for this gorgeous image. I used to be a critic of Megan. As a black woman, I wanted to ensure that Megan was representing us in a positive light overseas. What I failed to forget is that adulthood is full of rolls and punches and learning from your mistakes and trying again and making things better. Adulthood is about a continuous fight for something better. We respect our parents because they fought through all of the murky drama to sustain a semblance of normality for us. They went to school, got degrees. They put up with racism on the job. They put up with racism with lenders when they were trying to start their own business. It's always something when you're a person of color. I was reminded of that when Walona Woods from Good Times died. We found out as fans that she is not black, but actually biracial. And she underreported her age. There's rumors that Megan underreported her age. She lied about her baby bump, yada, yada, yada. If these things are true, look at how better her life is because she did a little bending of the truth. If these rumors are true, it is not easy to know that you have a talent and you know that you're so good, you're better than all of the other acting competition or all of the other research students. And why isn't anybody taking a look at my work? Well, maybe if I try a different comedy routine, maybe if I pretend that I'm younger because I look younger anyway, Maybe if I lower the age, maybe if I do this, I do that, I may be able to get the role. And roles are sporadic. These are things that we do as adults to get people to see our God-given talent. Sometimes we may lie. Sometimes we may not complain to human resources about a racist boss because we know that the racist boss will just totally call up all of his friends in town and blacklist you from ever getting a job in that field, in that town, and in the next few towns over ever again. And if you live in a large city, you will be blacklisted, say from maybe if you live in Pittsburgh, you'll be blacklisted from the Pittsburgh journalism circuit, the New York journalism circuit, your boss is calling all of his friends in many big cities to make sure you don't run back to that field ever again. There are things that adults do to make sure that they are able to feed themselves and feed their families because the Bible says that a man who ducked which also means a woman, a man who does not take care of his family is worse than an infidel. You can't look your children in the eye. You can't look your family in the eye and they not have the things that they need. A safe home and a safe neighborhood just on a basic level. And then look yourself in the eye knowing that you have these talents and you have these gifts and the world is not seeing them. There's a sort of depression that hits in, a natural depression that we all have. So I'm not mad that the character Walona Woods from Good Times lied about her status the entire time. 
No one in the black community was mad when we found out. We understood the hustle. I think Megan needs to be given some grace. Our parents go through certain things to make sure we can come home in safety. Some things that they'll never tell us. Your grandparents. And if you are listening and you are a white person, we're living on an evil earth. So if you don't go through racism, there's always something going on. Some husband that isn't acting right. Maybe you had a miscarriage. Maybe the loan that the dank went to. Maybe you're a white woman and the loan that the bank that was supposed to be secured for your business went to the white man who's also setting up a similar business down the street. We as human beings always have to jump through hoops to make things better for ourselves. Some people lie, cheat, steal just to get there. I'm not saying that it's right. But if this is a part of her story, she's still a legend in my book. If this is a part of her story. And if not, even better. But I think that either way, how the media is going out of their way to emphasize situations that are irrelevant to the work that her and Harry do in the world when they wouldn't do that to a white royal couple is racist. And why is it racist? Because again, all of our parents, our aunts and uncles have had to adjust themselves to reality to get ahead. That is a basic part of the human story. And I think we need to cut this young lady a break. I had to realize that myself.